Got a pretty good and important video for you guys today. I was browsing the r slash crypto mining subreddit. And as you can see here, how to, this is for the Alpha Pex DG Home 1, which I did just do a video on. And this is how to overclock or have a power save mode on the Alpha Pex DG Home 1 itself. Now for overclocking, this would increase the wattage, but it was also increase the hash power of your miner. Power save mode is the complete opposite. Your hash rate will decrease, but the wattage of the miner itself will also decrease. Overclocking is good for everyday use, especially for uh, mining of whatever coin you would like. Obviously, this is Litecoin and Dogecoin. But if the coin isn't doing so well, or depending on your electricity cost, you may want to put it in power save mode. Saves a bit of electricity, but obviously you will lose some hash rate, but you're still bringing in that Dogecoin and Litecoin. No, now this is how you actually do it. So if you go to the Alphapex website, just like you'd be downloading the tool that you would have done if you've just got your miner. So once you've downloaded your tool, you would then click scan to try and find your miner on the LAN network. Now, once you've found the miner on the LAN network, you would go all the way to the top right hand corner where it says remote control. This is where you can control your miner apart from on the actual dashboard on the website. You actually have a remote control inside the Alphapex tool itself. You've got six options. So you've got LED blinking, LED blinking off, power save mode, normal mode, sleep mode, and overclock mode. LED blinking and LED blinking off is pretty straightforward. That just shows you the LEDs on the front of the DG Home 1. Power save mode, we've just talked about that. Normal mode, this is normal mode where straight out of the box, that's what you'd be getting. You'd be getting 620 watts at 2.1 giga hash a second. You've got sleep mode. Now these Alphapex DG Home ones do not have a PSU on slash off switch on the front of the miner. So once you plug it in from the wall and you plug the plug into the Alphapex DG Home one, that's it. It's powered on. The only way to turn it off is to literally unplug it. So I think this is a sleep mode where you can put it into deep sleep like a computer where it's still plugged into the wall. Overclock mode, this is the mode that is imp most important to me personally. Once you set and click overclock mode, you click yes, the miner will restart and then it will rejoin your pool. As you can see, this person was getting 2.4 giga hash a second with up to approximately 715 watts. So it's less than 100 watts more, but anywhere between 200 to 300 mega hash a second more. If I go to my miner, you can see right here, I am currently doing 2.359 mega hash a second. My pool rejection rate is a bit higher because I've literally just rejoined the pool. I'm resettling in it because the miner did restart. As you can see, I've only accepted 273 and rejected 7. But this is an increased hash rate from the standard 2.1 giga hash a second. I do not have my watt meter plugged in right now. But from other people and what they are saying, they're roughly around 700 to 715 watts. This is good to know because initially in the marketing material, we didn't get any info. It was about overclocking. But now it seems Alphapex is starting to push more information out about this. And other people are finding more info about the miner itself. So that is fantastic. This has just been a quick video showing you about how to overclock or put in power save mode for the DG Home 1. I hope you guys found it informative. Please like and subscribe.